What is up everybody? It is Wick here. I'm about to go thrifting, look for some things I can flip online. But before that, I'll show you what I sold within the last 24 hours. I sold this Yonix badminton racket and I only paid a dollar for this at Goodwill. I sold it for $130 plus shipping for a total of $140 and two cents. Remember that day I picked up four rackets? I think I've already sold two between $60 and $90. Some of these Yonix rackets are extremely valuable. This one was more rare. I actually had it priced at $300 to begin with. It's been about a year since I picked it up. Been lowering the price and uh, eventually it sold at $130. I'll take it for only a dollar purchase. Next, I sold this Universal Carbon Monoxide Detector. I picked these up at Lowe's. Uh, I paid about $7 for them, sold them for $25. Picked up these New Balance shoes at a yard sale, brand new in box, for uh, $10. I sold them for $49.99, plus shipping. Didn't sell them with the box because the box had the price written on them. Plus, they're just easier to ship without the box. Saves a little bit of money. Paid $2 for this ink at a Goodwill, and I sold it for $18. I love selling ink. Don't remember where I got these exactly, either Lowe's or Home Depot. But what I can tell you is I sold them for $37.95, and I made profit. Sold this bread maker pan and paddle from a Panasonic unit, and I ended up selling it for $40. I think this is one I picked up at a thrift store for like three bucks. My voice keeps echoing out of this pan. Can you hear it? Sold this Teen Wolf DVD set. I picked up at a yard sale, paid $2 for it. Sold it for $20 plus shipping. The buyer paid $23 to have this shipped. It's an international order. I'm not sure where it's going exactly. eBay's made it a bit more difficult to see where these things are shipping. I have to go into all the layered order pages to kind of find out where the address is, but yeah, they paid up to have it shipped, that's for sure. Picked up this Polo Sport messenger bag at a yard sale. I paid a quarter or 50 cents for it, not sure. Sold it for $25 plus shipping for a total of $32.57. Got this He-Man figure Whiplash. This came in the vintage toy lot I bought recently and sold it for $20. So this satin nickel door handle I picked up at Lowe's. I got a bunch of these uh, about a year ago. I probably sold around a hundred of them. I paid about $32 for it and I sold it for $75 plus shipping for a total of $97.80. Sold some ghost story books. I picked these up at a yard sale. Picked up a bunch of books at a yard sale, ghost books. I already made well over $100 on the ones I sold. This is the last of them and I sold these for $28.61 ship. Sold a pop figure. I picked this up at Goodwill for $3.99 and I sold it for $40. Free shipping. Got this Tyco RC battery. I believe I have about $6 into it. Sold it for $35. It's been opened. If it was sealed, it would probably sell for about $100. Then finally, I sold these Thermocell Mosquito Repellers. Picked up a big carload of these earlier in the year at Lowe's on clearance. I think I paid between $3 and $5 for these. Sold them for $20 a piece for a total of $40. I am now inside of a Goodwill looking for the goods. Got a Boggle game. We got a lot of board games, as always. There's a game I did look up, Slaps It. Actually, a very good rank. Uh, not really worth picking up, though, as used. Got a Craftsman car, um, like a model car I put in there, die cast, not worth picking up. They had it priced, I think, $10, $15. That Cub Cadet lawnmower, though, that was priced at $2.99. I've already sold that for $50 plus shipping. And then we got some cards. I'm like, are these new? Turns out all the packs in there sealed. So I thought that was going to be huge. However, they weren't worth a lot. I just bought them blind. Uh, but I still bought them. Still will make some money, I think. Got these pennants. $0.99. Cents, uh, $20 sale. I've already sold those as well. So those went in the cart. Uh, what else we have here? A lot of stuff finding already in this Goodwill. Got some Nerf darts. $0.99. Cents. Throw those in there. They're great to lot with Nerf guns or test Nerf guns with. For $0.99, cents, you can't beat it. There's one of those NY lint trucks is what i call them i did end up picking that up i didn't see it right there but my second walkthrough i ended up picking it up 
spot something here. All these space guns, and they're vintage, I believe. You can see they came from big, big lots at one point. Clear, Some, a couple of them made noise. I went ahead and grabbed the ones that were still working, and I, I sell them as kind of things people like to mod for cosplay and stuff like that, so I did grab a couple of them. I think they were only $1.99 or a dollar. I don't remember exactly right off. Over here, the purses, we got some stuff on the floor. Here's this coach bag. Now, I don't know much about these things, $14.99. I know they're counterfeited a lot. This one didn't seem to be very special. It seemed to be kind of low quality for $14.99. I'm not gonna mess with that, uh, not knowing enough about it. However, I did pick up a pair of coach shoes here. Uh, I think those are legit. I looked up the, the tags and stuff. So they're not big money, but I, I decided to pick them up. They were $4.99 is all. You see, there's not many shoes here even. You, women's shoes even are very low right now. So over here, I see something. Well, first I checked the golf clubs and I see this tailor-made, which I did end up looking up. It wasn't a great one. I ended up leaving it, but I see this juicer over here. Like, could this be new, this juice extractor? Sure enough, $19.99, it was completely new. Uh, I opened it up, everything's wrapped in plastic in there. So yeah, I'll be able to make some good profit on that. You can see my cart's looking pretty good. I got a wrestling figure in there, uh, a couple other little toys I found, but throw that in there as well. Some mornings, you know, you just find a lot. Sometimes you just don't find much. Next Goodwill. I see some stuff that I've been seeing. A lot of you are gonna recognize the same things, but we come in and we look for the new stuff. Anything that could be put out like this, this new wave cooktop. I've sold these in the past. I get about $30 plus shipping for them. Uh, I think they're coming down in value a little bit, maybe 25, 30. Uh, but yeah, the last one I sold, I think I sold for 30, maybe even 35. Got these cost headphones. Um, I don't think they were worth, I think I looked them up. I don't remember at this point. Usually not a brand that does that well. Uh, I think in Goodwill even kind of private labels those, not private labels, I guess they just wholesale them in. Uh, they got a bunch of different kinds of headphones like that. Little Radio Shock clock. I can't remember if I looked that up at this point. This video's footage is a little older at this point and I thrift so much, I can never remember everything. Little food processor, I did look that up. Not worth picking up. Uh, some of the food processes are good to part out, good to sell as a whole unit. That one, not so much. Got a globe. Uh, anything else that I see over here? Pots and pans, dinnerware, flatware. There's one of those car mask, uh, car covers. Pretty good. Um, some of those car covers can go for hundreds of dollars. So I did end up picking that up. It was only $4.99. Uh, I just shipped this out this morning, uh, this massager. I sold it for uh, $20 plus shipping, got 30 some dollars for it total. Uh, I believe it was like $2.99 there. Just an old vintage vibrating massager, you know, that kind of stuff sells. Here I am back here getting that, grabbing it, making sure we pick it up, make some money on it. See if we can find any rare shampoo to flip for $50 or so. Uh, I don't think I saw anything worth picking up in this section. New cart came out though, I heard, so I went over to it and I started looking to see if we can find anything good on it. Got this, I guess it's like a roadside emergency kit or something like that. Decided to pass on it, didn't seem like any resale value, but over here I see something. This Empire Blow Mold 1968, it's in amazing condition. So of course I grabbed that. You know, I've been talking about those a lot this year. Finally found one, and the only reason I got it is because this cart came out, and I rushed over to it. I was the only one there, so, you know, that kind of stuff would be gone in seconds. There was even some ladies there looking at it, looking at me hold it. So, yeah, that kind of stuff disappears. You just have to be in the right place, right time. Go over the Christmas aisle, and I thought, Ooh, maybe they put some more out. Maybe I could find an actual, you know, full-size one that goes out in the yard. Those are worth hundreds of dollars. Unfortunately, I did not come across anything else. No Department 56 stuff. Apparently, I <laughs> I was talking about it. Oh, here I go um, rushing over because I hear another cart come out. Um, so I go over here and I wasn't actually running. I sped up the footage just if you actually thought I was running. I was not running. I was just walking fairly quick. 
There's uh, nothing on here though. Um, nothing great. Maybe a Longa Burger. Is it Longa Burger? Longa Burger Basket? I think is how you say that. Um, I know a lot of people sell them. I know they're worth money. Uh, do you people go through and just flip over every basket? I'm just curious and how many of them you find in the wild. There's a Trapper Keeper on that cart as well. I ended up passing on it. It wasn't worth picking up. Some of those vintage Trapper Keepers, oh, they can be worth a hundred bucks. It's, it's crazy uh, what some of that stuff sells for. We're in a thrift store looking at the games and toys. Uh, this thrift store gets so much new stuff in. Uh, you just never know what you're going to find. It sells really quick. It comes in really quick. So again, it's just right place, right time kind of thing. Anything good, it just disappears very quick because everything's priced very low here. You know, I'm talking a lot of things are just a quarter, 50 cents. So you can find some great deals. Uh, I recently sold a water or something you put in your bathtub to fill it with water and use it as a drinking fountain or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's an emergency water kit for your bathtub. Uh, ended up paying like a dollar for it, sold it for... I think it was 120 bucks. So you just never know. Here we got some stuff. There's that um, ab roller, ab roller plus. Someone mentioned that in the comments. That one's missing some screws. It's pretty, you know, the foam's messed up on it. Those have went up in value. I've sold them before, but it's been years. I remember selling them for like 30 or $40. They're kind of annoying to ship. They're not as bad as you would think because you can take them apart. Uh, so yeah, that one, uh, I just left it. They can sell upwards. It looked like, uh, 80 to 100 dollars right now i uh, did pass on that typewriter and the cd player they weren't really worth picking up didn't want to mess with them i looked up the model of that typewriter it was doing terrible on ebay it's just crazy how some models do very well some do not uh but yeah ab roller uh, it was actually still there today i went in <laughs> so no one's bought it i get to this salvation army though and i see this betamax i think it's brand new my rival's in front of me and I'm like, oh, he didn't see it. I reached down there. He's like, oh, what's that? You know, and I'm like, oh, it's a Betamax. But he's like, Betamax. Oh, no, I didn't see it. So <laughs> I ended up grabbing that. And unfortunately, you know, Salvation Army wrote new on there. It was used in the box, but still, that's about a $300 unit, right? So I'm happy to pick that up. He has something. Being the greedy reseller I am, I'm like, what did he find? I'm trying to see it in his hands there. It looked like just a little clock. <laughs> He's my electronics rival. I've mentioned him before, but we're friendly. Um, we talk pretty much every morning, and he wasn't too salty about that. I found this, though, for $1.50. Um, sold that as well. Sold it for $50 very quick. Uh, some sort of film loader. I'm not even sure how it's used. But I ended up getting a few great things in here that they brought out. Let me show you everything I did find. Look at this haul. I got some awesome stuff. Let's just start back here. Found a lot of good stuff in Salvation Army today. While I was paying and leaving, the lady brought these out, asked if I would be interested in them. I'm not great with this kind of stuff, but they look art deco to me. I couldn't deal with the FOMO, fear of missing out, so I paid $10 a piece for these. I think it's a fair deal. I was doing some research, and it looked like this one, at least a version of this, very close to it anyway, sold for about $189. This plane down here, I found one that looked almost identical, but it only had two propellers. Of course, I'm not <laughs> too familiar with models of planes, styles of planes, but that one sold for $100. It also had the stand. So in the end, I don't know how much I'm gonna get for these. I'd say profit-wise, I'm looking at at least $150 for these. Anyone who sells this kind of stuff a lot more than I do, please let me know in the comments if you have any input on these items. Let's go up a little so you can get a better view of the top. They're very heavy, very well made. I think they're going to do great. Then we got this Sony Betamax player. When I first saw it, um, I got super excited, super nervous because my electronics rival was ahead of me. Uh, he did not even notice it. I swooped in. I grabbed it. And unfortunately, it's not sealed. I thought it might be at first. It looked sealed. They had tape on it, but I could tell that the, the box had been opened before. So I went ahead and opened it in store because uh, it was $20. I wasn't going to pay $20, get it home, and there'd be an Apex DVD player in there, you know, something cheap. Even new open box, this would have been gold. 
However it is used, it's obviously used, but that's still okay because used working, these things sell for $300. I can't lose on this because even not working, I saw one of these sell for 120 bucks for parts. So $20 is a steal. If this would have been sealed, you're looking at well over $1,000 profit. I've talked about these sealed vintage electronics. They're literally gold. Um, I've sold some in the $800 range, some combo units. I sold a Sony new open box one, I think for about $500 and some dollars on eBay. A Magnavox combo unit, I think I got about $900 for on Amazon, and I probably could have got more. So just something to keep in mind if you find anything sealed, vintage, especially Sony like this. Coming right over here, I picked up these MASH DVDs. This is the complete series. Uh, not as worth as much as I thought. It was only $5, I think it was. It looked like I could sell it between $30, $40, maybe $45. So for that price, shipping media mail, I picked it up. So then I have this car mask. It's made by Covercraft, which is something, um, a name you should really keep an eye out for because some of these car covers can go for hundreds of dollars, up to like $500. It really just depends on the car. This one's for a Buick Somerset. I don't know how collectible those are. Uh, car wise I doubt many people are really you know wanting to protect them that well but I think this was only five dollars as well it's got some garage sale stickers yeah $4.99 for this I could not find comps for this particular one anywhere I'm probably going to list it high I honestly don't know how it's going to do it is new inside still wrapped up in the plastic considering how some of these other cover craft car covers are going for I'm probably going to try 150 bucks. I honestly don't know if it'll sell for that. But as far as I can tell, I'll have the only one online. So if someone wants one, uh, they'll probably pay 150 for it. Went and picked up this Celtics hat. I believe it's vintage. It's Twill brand, which I've come across before. It's kind of hard to find comps on these because if you type in you know, Twill, there's a lot of hats that are, that's the material and it can be very hard to find stuff. I eventually found some Raiders caps made by this company that we're selling for about $30, $35 pre-owned. So this one's pretty cool looking. I'll price it minimum $30. I do think it will sell. I paid $2.99 at Goodwill. This was on a new cart that came out at Goodwill. As soon as I saw it, I said, ooh, this is good, finally. I recently was talking about these blow molds in a Halloween video I done where you look for the Empire stuff. It's a great name. Uh, there you go, Empire. I don't know if you can see there, 1968. It is missing the, the light that goes in there, but I actually have one that will go in there. So no problems there. Now, if you do a search for that on eBay, 1968 Empire Snowman, sort by highest listing. You're going to see some of these sold $400, $500. That's the tall one, the 48-inch one. So if you're at yard sale, flea market, wherever, you see some of these vintage snowmans, look for the Empire blow molds. Of course, Santa or Christmas trees or anything like that are going to be great. Very good money. This one being one of the smaller ones, you know, it's $45, $50 plus shipping. It's in very good condition. I just picked up these Coach, like, high-top shoe boots. They're in great condition except for some black around the white. I'll clean that up. They were $4.99. It looks like, you know, they're a $25 pair. I don't know if they're counterfeit. There was a purse there as well that looked kind of cheap. I just left it. I looked up the tag on these. They, they seem like they're probably not counterfeit. Got some Nerf darts. Just like to keep these on hand. So when I buy Nerf guns, I have darts to test them with. Got this Cub Cadet. Ertl toy uh, die cast. It was only $2.99. Uh, I saw comps on one. It looked like it's selling for about $40, $50. So of course I picked that up and try to make a little bit of money on that. Got this vintage wall powerage massager, hand massager, $4.99. I forget, it was somewhere between $20 and $30 these were selling for. It's very clean looking in there, so I'll go ahead and buy it, try it out. Got one of these spring-loaded lightsabers. I've talked about these in the past. Uh, $3.99. It works. Uh, I believe they quit selling these because the spring ejection on them uh, were knocking people's eyes out. Uh, this is the Darth Vader one, I believe. Uh, $25, $30 what you can sell these for. Cosplayers like to buy them. People who mod them like to buy them, change them up, repaint them, all that kind of stuff. Then we got this bulk film daylight loader. Uh, this was 
half off. It was $1.50. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's very clean in there. It's got the paperwork and it looked like they were selling between $45, $50. So of course I grabbed it. I've mentioned this brand also. I always call it NY Lint. I don't know. I'm, it's probably just one word. Lint or however you would pronounce that. It was $1.99. I picked it up. Looks like it's probably about a $20 vehicle. We got the Undertaker. I'm just going to put him in a lot of wrestling figures after I get, you know, enough figures to sell and make it worthwhile. It's only 99 cents. These cards had me very excited because sports cards are just so valuable right now. Uh, 1991, I think it was. Sealed packs. Unfortunately, you know, these are only worth about $20. Must not be a good set. Must not have any, you know, potential rookie cards in them or anything like that. I bought them blind, you know. We'll make some money on them though. Also bought these sealed pennants. They were only a, a dollar. I was kind of surprised at the value and they were selling about $20. First class ship, a little bread and butter item. The sun making it hard to see again because of shadows and camera settings, I guess. But I got this new wave, $6.99 is what I paid for it. I sold these in the past. I sell them for about $30 plus shipping. Try to get this stuff out of the shadows. We got some audiobooks here. We're gonna sell on Amazon FBA. It looks like well, they're selling for about thirty dollars pre-owned, twenty-five, thirty dollars, and these are actually free at Salvation Army. I don't know why. Uh, she just said, "You know what? I'm not gonna charge you for these." And I said, "Okay." I got this Kenyo VHS rewinder. Sell these Amazon FBA. I sold them in the past. I sold them for forty-five, fifty dollars, no problem. If it works, it was only two ninety-nine. So I got that. Picked up these space guns for a little speculation. I've sold guns like this in the past, these vintage style guns. Again, it's something people buy to mod and, and add to cosplay and stuff like that. I remember picking up a couple like revolver looking ones that made sound. Uh, 25 cents is all I paid for them at a yard sale. I sold them for 20 bucks. Use keywords like cosplay and modding toy guns and stuff like that. $1.99, I'll probably just buy some $20 a piece, see if they sell. And then finally, I got a couple clothing items, the Spider brand core sweater. These things do quite well, pre-owned, $20, $30 just depends. This is a medium and the reason, I probably would have left it, but I've actually have like three similar spider clothing items that are size medium. So I'm just gonna lot them all together. I figured I might as well grab this one and throw in there. So in good condition, it's got some hair on it that I'll have to wash or get off. And I picked up this sweater. It's kind of like a Cosby sweater. I wasn't gonna pick it up. I ended up getting it again for $1.50. I don't know why. She must have misread the tag as uh, $3.99 or something. Uh, even then, she would have to read it as $2.99. Uh, it does look like $2.99. It's like a five, and they turned it into a two. So that's probably what happened. $2.99, she gave it to me for $1.50. It was, the color was half off. But some of this brand was selling quite well. The Cosby, Kooji like This one isn't really Kooji like There's no color or you know textured swirls. But I saw one sell for $90 like that. So I figure, you know... For a dollar fifty, uh, it's gonna make some money. But there it is, everybody. Some awesome stuff. I love the airplanes, Betamax, the blow mold. I have to try to get some of this stuff listed today. But I really want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Please make sure you're subscribed. So many people watch my videos and they're not even subscribed. They come back, they keep watching, and uh, yeah, they don't subscribe for whatever reason. Hopefully the quality of this video warrants a subscription from you. I'd appreciate it. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.